The Bedouin live an indigenous agricultural lifestyle, which is at constant threat of home demolitions, crop destruction and uncertainty. The photo exhibition here in Salisbury has been given the title Cameras for Human Rights. This photo exhibition has been put together from some of the pictures in, inside this book, which was published by the NGO, Negev Coexistence Forum, with the Jewish and Arab cooperation um, NGO from near Beersheba in Israel. And one of the activities which they've been doing is to give cameras and training in photography to some of the women in the so-called unrecognised villages. And the, the, the way of life here is really rather under threat and the women don't have very happy lives in some way. The Bedouin women have been encouraged to record their lives through a lens. The photos and captions on display at Salisbury Methodist Church are the women's own choice of topic and message to highlight their daily struggles. One of the ways they have of putting pressure on the villages is to refuse to provide basic utilities, um, electricity, sewage and so on, in particular water. Uh, they have to have pipes that come from uh, quite a long way, which uh, they themselves are responsible for. These are often uh, broken and so on. Uh, or they have to uh, buy tankers full of water, which is very expensive. Um, and it's a basic uh, thing that we take for granted is the uh, provision of uh, clean, uh, adequate drinking water and uh, something that is a very big problem for them. The Children's Project, run every winter by the Negev Coexistence Forum, allows children to learn about the operation of cameras and to show the unrecognised villages through young eyes. This board is showing some photographs that have come from the Children's Project. Now, what the Negev Coexistence Forum do is that they put a collection of these pictures into a calendar and they sell it to help finance the next year's winter project for the next bunch of children. Today there are over 240,000 Bedouin in Israel's Negev Nakab region. Over half of this population live in government-sponsored townships, while some 70,000 live in unrecognised villages. These small agricultural communities established on ancestral lands are denied basic services, including electricity. Organisers want to make people in the UK more aware of the issue. We, for example, have written to our MP in our particular area and asked her to take our message to the Foreign and Commonwealth Office because, for example, we have an embassy in Tel Aviv and there's, if the ambassador expresses an interest or a concern about some of these human rights issues, then we're adding to the voices that are heard. And I think we're particularly saying this because of the strong friendship and respect that we feel for our Jewish and Bedouin friends in that area. And we can't just sit here in the United Kingdom and say, oh, what a shame. We really do have to try. And so that's why we've come to Salisbury. And we hope that you'll visit and that you'll pick up some of our concerns too. The exhibition will be on display until the 3rd of February. Amy Reeve, that's TV.